Hi, uh, we are looking at career development plans of next foolproof career maker system, and specifically, I must earn more money right now. We tend to believe that if people move from the boxes, they often perceive to be real, and they move towards a different space, everything becomes absolutely great, and they will continuously earn more. Typically, our more senior people increase their salaries between 20 to 30 plus percent a year by just approaching the same work a little bit differently, treating the environment differently. Now, how do they do it? And how do they get to earn more is the question then. We've experienced over the last 40 years in building teams, then businesses, then professional coaching in a wide area, including students at university and schools, the last obviously being mostly pro bono, but nonetheless the processes are very similar. Once people understand how to go about it and they feel safe and secure, they find it becomes very exciting. We therefore say the foolproof career maker system is secure, safe, and certain. We hope you find the same. Let us just look at moving from the boxes to the great spaces, earning more right now. We all work, invest to all mutual benefit. You cannot lose if you follow this approach. Typically what we find, the people start out with they and them and always and again and feeling this control is external to them when in reality that external view always lead to frustration because the people out there do not worry so much about you uh, they tend to worry about themselves and the things they are paid to worry about the truth is when people communicate clearly what they already do, they understand what their value is more clearly, they deliver more value, they communicate that value, they get paid for what they do because people know what they do. People can't pay you if they don't know and most often they don't know. Most people expect and we found this in our companies, that somebody must notice how hard I work. Now, people don't really pay you for hard work. They pay you for effective work. They pay you for value. And we'll have more stories on that as we go forward. Once you've gained insights, you've prepared it, and you communicate it to the right influencing people, you cannot but lift your salary 30%. At least you will change the road towards a 30% increase. So let us look at the simple three steps to earn more right now. Know what you are currently doing and know what you want to do more and want to do less. Prepare that message. Prepare a story. Be clear about it. With the right knowledge, insights and clarity, people will come to you. A man with a plan is always welcome. Thirdly, once you are prepared, you will engage and communicate your current work list, your want work list, and the, what you want to get rid of and delegate to other very deserving people. If you now just take a quick look at your role as a cogwheel in the great machinery of industry, production, and our uh, economic communities. If you drive, the whole thing drives. You don't have to wait for the whole engine to drive you. And what we find is most people never develop the ability to make their car wheel fit to the engine. The engine is not going to adapt for us. We got to adapt to the engine. So the board and executive is there to see that we do more with less capital because that generates a higher capital for shareholders, meaning 
all of us get more capital at a lower cost to produce even more. That grows my career, it grows my job, it grows what I earn. In the production engine, in the teams I play, the contribution I got to make, once more, if I fit and I'm clear, I'm always wanted, I'm always in demand. I cannot but grow my salary 20 to 30 percent a year. Lastly, and the most important, the client comes shopping. What does he buy from us? What do I contribute to what a client buys? Now, if I grow my insight in our industry, our investors, our business and its competitors, our clients and their wants, my ability to contribute jumps. And I also know what to say no to, which is almost more important than knowing what to say yes to. And we found in our companies over the years and in our coaching and in our pro bono work at students and schools that saying no seems to come very hard to us. So what we have learned that if people are confident what they say yes to, they become very confident what they say no to. Once you know what you really want to do, you get loaded with what you want and it's easy to say no to what you don't want. So when the client comes shopping, he must find what he wants. My contribution to the team must be clear. Our contribution to the executive and board must be clear so they can get more capital for us, keep the shareholders very happy. And if everybody does well, in the end, I cannot but do well as well provided I communicate. So, that is one more way to move from the perceived boxes to the great spaces. Let us look at the first one then. Know what you currently do for whom. Just a very brief look. What we found in our companies and recently some people we coached that they didn't understand quite the value of their contribution, their, them as a cockwheel, what they do as a cockwheel. Now remember that you are much more than your work. We'll come back to that one. But in work, understand your value. Understand and discuss the value of what you do and what you want with the influencers around you. What should you do more of? If I ask you quickly, and that was my first question recently to two senior people, Albert and Ken, what is it that they want more of? What is it they want less of? Clarifying that, writing it down, made them go to the workplace and change the content of their work in less than weeks. It's most amazing. Once you know and you're confident to communicate because you're prepared, uh, you automatically move up the scale. You know what you say no to. You know what you say yes to. So let's move to the next one. Prepare. If you look at preparation to communicate, we find it very useful if you use people around you, bounce off them, get their support, colleagues, friends, family, <coughs> and even selected, recognized industry or business gurus. Uh, they would love you if you approach them with a plan and you approach them with respect, you recognize them. We, you will hear more about that. Identify then those who have the insight, who can help you. Practice these communications like you practice for any speech and you practice for any situation in real life. Uh, what we found when we practiced people, let them exercise in front of a mirror even, exercise in safe groups around us before we go to the outside world, the influencers or the clients or the industry people or the shareholders even, provided you prepare your stories. And elsewhere on the website, we talk extensively about the power of stories and how you tell stories and why you tell stories. But you've got to be clear and comfortable with stories, showing your insight, showing your research, showing your preparation. Thirdly, engage and communicate. 
your current work list and add to it your wanted work list uh, and add to it what you don't want and your plan to delegate and what you want you have a plan to volunteer and what you currently do you keep done because if you don't keep your job done you can't do any of these nice things ask and share with the selected influencers use sharing and questioning skills very effectively now elsewhere on the website we've put pages for asking and sharing skills and there's a vast amount of information if you're already good with it ignore it then you have it but many of us have to practice it and more of us even have to use models to do it because it takes quite a long time to make it an ingrained habit it, it takes a lot of exercise you know it takes five years to learn golf ask me especially if your talent for golf is a bit low like mine respect and acknowledge those influencers i've never seen anybody refused when they arrive with a clear plan and respect they can say why they respect the person and why they approach them in absolute humbleness for their advice we find now that uh, close to 700 uh, students at northwest university south africa get holiday work that they've chosen using this technique they also about a third of them get jobs that they never advertised they've hired themselves themselves now elsewhere on the website we will fully give you a video and the processes to hire yourself at the company of your choice location of your choice job of your choice so if we then look at earning more right now which is our objective here what stops us are those perceived boxes the boxes are built out of many perceptions and unless we move explore gain new insights the box will remain the same that brings us to the statement that more of the same equals less because we keep on spending effort and we don't get the results we want so we must change we must think differently get rid of our perceptions simply through gaining insight and knowledge and some awareness so you should know what you want to do you must prepare and communicate you must engage the, uh, the influencers or communicate to them it's very simple who are you you are much more than your work skills you are a family person a community person uh, all kinds of things but you're also a person that works so your store of assets in this case your natural talents your experiences etc brings you to the point that you currently do what you uh, are on, on your to-do list now you can see where your strengths exceed your to-do list and where your strengths need to be built up uh, you need to build some strengths and we'll talk much more about that in another video so your current list knowing what you do preparing and communicating will be based on your current activities and your current store of assets it's very interesting that out there is everything any one of us can possibly need and we've proven that over and over we have built uh, 28 companies in time i like to start companies and then pass them on uh, we've been running incubators for a long time and in those companies we've developed people where a lot of this comes from originally based on unit packet processes as we knew Bill and Dave in the 70s so it's all out there for you you make a staircase of your own and you climb it yourself now that can be a bit scary to make and climb the staircase and this process gets talked about in more detail in yet another video so let's get started exploring and identifying what you contribute right now reframing it rephrasing it uh, understanding it matching it to your natural strengths your acquired strengths preparing with people around you and you will know who in your family colleagues friends will help you and also identify people you admire remember if you approach them right they never say no they will help you prepare then you are ready to engage the influencers 
Now you arrive with them with a clear plan, clear insight, understanding widely. They cannot but notice you, notice what you do and compensate you properly because they will start competing for you. So in this process, you already grow your store, you grow your relationships, you grow your insights, you practice. It's skills that naturally grow in this process, so already you get a double benefit by growing your store. We like to look at when you do this, even just going for earning more right now, it's kind of good to keep in mind that your job, industry and company, how do they align and place your store where it suits you in the center. Align yourself in your job, the work you do and the career you want. That will have the effect that you stay in charge of your own salary increases. How can they not pay you if they know what you contribute as a cogwheel in this great engine we call the economy, business, etc. You will end up with continuous position of insight, knowing where you are and going, the confidence to communicate it clearly, and that obviously brings you back to the great space where your store grows and let you grow, earn as much as you want, where you want and when you want. If we move along, we like to look, your clear purpose in this case is to earn more. We recommend that you keep your work, job, career, industry, company aligned. That will be like a mission and a vision for career. Then your objectives and goals and tasks are normally fairly far because your vision is always out there a bit and you keep it aligned. You can call that your strategy. Much more on this model in our later detailed videos as we go forward. Just one more quick thing. It's good to identify what is known and it's just the way it is. And you have typically no influence in this area. That's like any sport. And we find it very difficult in our companies, uh, again, if I use Ken and Albert, explaining to them in their businesses, they are simple ground rules. Those are like laws in a country, obey the law while you work to change them kind of thing. You can't really, you will spend your energy in a very negative way if you go and work here. Rather, understand the area where you have influence and synergy and it's known. This is a very, very good area to play at. There is a third area that's very exciting. Now, I would rather spend my time there. New options, looking forward, future vision, then go and fight the rules. And people so easily get into the trap of fighting the rules. Avoid that negative at all costs. This is, of course, long-term future, unknown, no influence. So we are not looking at that today for sure. If you now look at Career Maker, and we really believe it's the foolproof system to let you earn more. By the way, it's my name, Unare um, Fisaghi. Well, there's another set of stuff that introduced me. I don't have to do it here. If we just look at the business tool set, So if I look at a business tool set, uh, you can simply go to careerdevelopmentplan.net and go on to the table of contents and look at the entrepreneurial and the business processes. Uh, I'm going to go back to... and look at personal tool set in the same space. And the personal tool set, I specifically want to look at the one I think that people who want to increase their salaries need to look at most. And that is interpersonal skills for now. Now you can see that full list of skills are available to you. 
at very low cost, if any. There's a full index in different chapters. Just to make you aware it's there, in an email soon we'll send you a list to help you establish your priorities on which one you should focus on first. We don't want you to go and search when we can help you quickly to find exactly what you want. So stay with us. and wait for the next email where we hope we'll take you right through this process to get your increase that you want as soon as practically possible. The next email should be in your box in a day. Thank you very much and we hope 